My name is PFC William T. Santiago. I'm a Marine stationed at Marine Barracks, Rifle Security Company, Windward, 2nd Platoon, Bravo. I'm writing to inform you of my problems with my unit here in Cuba and to ask for your help. I've fallen out on runs before for several reasons, such as feeling dizzy or nauseated. But on May 18th, I've fallen back about 20 or 30 yards, going down a rocky, unstable hill. My sergeant grabbed me and pushed me down the hill. Then I saw all black, and the last thing I remember is hitting the deck. I was brought to the hospital where I was told I just had heat exhaustion. I ask you to help me. Please, sir, I just need to be transferred out of RSC. Sincerely, PFC William T. Santiago, U.S. Marine Corps. P.S. In exchange for my transfer off the base, I'm willing to provide you information, information about, about an illegal the fence line shooting that occurred the night of August the 2nd. Who the fuck is PFC William T. Santiago? Private Santiago is a member of 2nd Platoon Bravo, sir. Yeah. Well, apparently he's not very happy down here at Shangri-La because he's written letters to everybody but Santa Claus asking for a transfer. And now he's telling tales about a fence line shooting. Matthew? I'm, I'm appalled, sir. You're appalled. This kid broke the chain of command and ratted on a member of his unit to say nothing of the fact that he is a U.S. Marine and it would appear he can't run from here to there without collapsing from heat exhaustion. What the fuck is going on in Bravo Company, Matthew? Colonel, I think perhaps it would be better to hold this discussion in private. That won't be necessary, Colonel. I can handle this situation, sir. The same way you handled the Curtis Bell incident? Sir, your You're methods doing... of leadership... Don't interrupt me, Lieutenant. I'm still your superior officer. And I'm yours, Matthew. I want to know what we're going to do about this. I think Santiago should be transferred off the base immediately. He's that bad, huh? Not only that, but where of this letter's bound to get out, he's going to get his ass whipped. Hmm. Transfer Santiago. Yes. I'm sure you're right. I'm sure that's the thing to do. Wait. Wait, I've got a better idea. Let's transfer the whole squad off the base. Let's, on second thought, windward. Let's transfer the whole windward division off the base. John, go on out there and get those boys down off the fence. They're packing their bags. Tom? Sir. Get me the president on the phone. We're surrendering our position in Cuba. Yes, sir. Wait a minute, Tom. Don't get the president just yet. Maybe we should... Consider this for a second. Dismiss, Tom. Yes, sir. Maybe, and I'm just spitballing here, maybe we have a responsibility as officers to train Santiago. Maybe we as officers have a responsibility to this country to see that the men and women charged with its security are trained professionals. Yes, I'm certain that I read that somewhere once. And now I'm thinking, Colonel Morganson, that your suggestion of transferring Santiago, while expeditious and certainly painless, might not be, in a manner of speaking, the American way. Santiago stays where he is. We're going to train the lad. John, you're in charge. Santiago doesn't make 4646 on his next proficiency in conduct report. And I'm going to blame you. Then I'm going to kill you. Yes, sir. I think that's a mistake, Colonel. Uh, Matthew, I, I think I will have that word in private with you now. John, uh, that's all. Why don't we meet at the old club and have lunch and we'll talk about the training of young William. I'd be delighted to hear any suggestions that you might have, sir. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Matthew, sit down, please. What do you think of Kendrick? Nathan, I don't think my opinion of Kendrick has any whatsoever. I think he's pretty much of a weasel myself. But he's an awfully good officer. And in the end, we see eye to eye on the best way to run a Marine Corps unit. We're in the business of saving lives, Matthew. 
That is a responsibility that we have to take pretty seriously. And I believe that taking a Marine who is not quite up to the job and shipping him off to another assignment puts lives in danger. Sit down, Matthew. We go back a while. We went to the academy together. We were commissioned together. We did our tours in Vietnam together. But I've been promoted up through the chain with greater speed and success than you have. Now, if that's a source of tension or embarrassment for you, I don't give a shit. We're in the business of saving lives, Lieutenant Colonel Markinson. Don't ever question my orders in front of another officer. 